Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.5, number 21. And here we were given a factor and said, hey, can you take that factor, use it with this polynomial, and apply the factor theorem? And the factor theorem says um, that if k is a 0 of the function, then f of k, excuse me, x minus k is a factor. And the, the thing with the factor theorem, I and mean, this is, it goes both ways here, but uh, the thing with the factor theorem is that in order to make this work, you have to have a lead coefficient of one here. And right now I don't have a lead coefficient of one, I have a lead coefficient of two. So it makes this problem that much trickier. And I just wanna say up front, like if I was doing this, I would not use synthetic division, which I'm about to use synthetic division. You can see it happening here. I would actually use long division, but the direction said use the factor theorem so I'm gonna go ahead and use the factor theorem. And that's what I start with here. I say, right, we need to change the coefficient on this x into a divisor of one. So what I wound up doing is, let me, let me do a preliminary step. I took two x cubed plus five x squared minus 12 x minus 30 in ratio to two x plus five. And I put a little space there because I needed to divide every term in this quotient by two. And what will happen is if I do that, let me change colors, then this will divide out and that's why I have that lead coefficient of one. All right, so that's what you would have to do just to get set up to use the factor theorem. So now that I have that divisor, right, where that lead coefficient is one, I can see that my k value is negative five halves. And if you can't see your k value is negative five halves, just take x plus five halves and set it equal to zero because we're talking about zeros here and I would subtract five halves from both sides and that's where I'm getting my k value of negative five halves. So I put that here and then you can see my lead coefficients of one, positive five halves, negative six and negative 15. They come from one, positive five halves, negative six and negative 15. And I go through and I run that synthetic division and you can see that when I run it, my remainder is zero which means I do have a factor, which I, I knew anyways. And since I was dividing into a cubic, this lead coefficient is gonna be x squared, right? It's a squared term, technically plus zero x minus six. So I just simplified that into x squared minus six. So as I start to move through this problem, right? I knew that two x plus five was a factor. I was told that up front. I used synthetic division and I found out x squared minus six was the remaining factor. So I can break that into two x plus five, which we had, and then this is a difference of squares. It doesn't have an even number or a, a perfect square there, but I can still square root the number six. So I get x minus root six, x plus root six. And using the zero product property, right? I would say either two x plus five had to be zero, x minus root six had to be zero, or x plus root six had to be zero. And that's where I get the three zeros of my equation. If I was graphing this, these would be x-intercepts, but I wasn't asked to do that, so I'm gonna leave them as zeros. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.